Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss on the topic reproduction in organisms and this video is presented to you by www.examha.com. So as we have discussed asexual reproduction in our previous videos, now we are going to discuss sexual reproduction in which we will cover introduction, pre-fertilization events, fertilization and post-fertilization event. Pre-fertilization events are those events which take before the fertilization like gametogenesis and gamete transfer fertilization is of two type internal and external and post fertilization events are those which occur after the fertilization takes place like the zygote formation and embryogenesis so now we will discuss introduction as we all know that all the organisms have their uh, life cycle and have different phases in their life cycle for example if we take human so first the human is a child then an adult then after that uh, uh, after an age the human die human become old and then they die so like that the plants also have different phases in their life cycle which is first the embryonic phase after that vegetative phase then reproductive phase and the last one is seneschal phase so that when the development of the embryo take place in which the cell divides the cell enlarge the cell increases its size and the cell differentiate that means the cell converted into a specialized cell or which will uh, form a specialized tissue so that that is called the cell differentiation so in embryonic phase the cell divide cell uh, became enlarged and cell differentiate after that came uh, comes a vegetative phase in which the period between the birth till the reproductive maturity of an organism is called vegetative phase so in vegetative phase the organism is actually not reproductively active okay but it reaches to certain maturity that after that it is reproductively active and uh, would be able to reproduce new offspring so after the juvenile phase when the uh, plant able to produce the young one and able to reproduce the able to produce flower then that phase is called the reproductive phase and the last one is seneschal phase in which the plant is not able to produce any kind of flower and then leads to death okay so as you can see in this diagram the embryonic phase you can see an embryo and cover covering of an endosperm which provides the nourishment to the embryo seed coat provides the protective layer covering to the embryo after that the plant goes into the vegetative phase in which the plant grows become uh, goes and attain certain maturity but uh, in this phase it is not able to produce any kind of uh, flower in reproductive phase the plant produces flower which have the male and the re uh, female reproductive organ which produces male and female gametes which then fuse and produce zygote okay after that according to the life cycle the plants were divided as annual plant biennial plant and perennial plant so in the annual plant the plant produces flower once in a year and then the mother cell, mother plant die leaving behind thousands of seeds to continue the life cycle further so in this uh, diagram you can see the plant produces seeds which is the embryonic phase and after that goes into the vegetative phase in which uh, it became mature after that in uh, reproductive phase it produces flower and uh, uh produces flower after that the seneschal phase and uh, after which the plant dies and again it produces seeds which further continue the cycle okay now biennial plant are those plant which produces flower once in a two year but we are not able to see their flower because we harvested harvested them in the first season so we are not able to see them their flower for example uh, onion carrot and cabbage so as you can see in this diagram the plant produces seeds then goes into the vegetative phase so this is the phase in which the plant were harvested 
after that the plant goes in goes in the dormancy phase so what is dormancy is the plant become physically inactive and temporarily stop its all its activity all its metabolic activity and conserve energy so this dormancy depends on the environmental condition after uh, the environmental condition become favorable the plant break the dormancy and goes into the vegetative phase again it produces flower in the reproduce the reproductive phase after that the skin phase and the plant die uh, leaving behind thousands of seeds and the cycle will continue further in perennial plant the plant which live more than 2 years are called the perennial plant so these are the plant which grow and bloom in spring and summer and then die back in autumn and winter after that they return again in summer so you can see in this diagram the seeds goes into the vegetative phase so a uh, vegetative phase and then into the reproductive phase in which it produces flower then goes into the dormancy so in dormancy it became uh, metabolically inactive temporarily inactive uh, due to some environmental condition after uh, the plant breaks dormancy it has the choice two choices either they go into the senescin phase or they again continue the cycle going into the vegetative phase so if it goes into the senescin phase uh, it will leave behind uh, thousands of seeds which will again continue the cycle further and if it goes into the vegetative phase the cycle will continue as uh, uh, again into the reproductive phase and then again the cycle will continue as same okay but in annual and biennial plant you can easily distinguish between the vegetative phase uh, reproductive phase and senescin phase but in perennial plant it is not able we are not able to distinguish between the uh, different phases like vegetative and reproductive as the plant plant has choice to go either into the senescin phase or again into the vegetative phase okay a bamboo plant plant produces since once in a lifetime after 50 to 100 years strobilanthus kuntiana which is neela kurangi flower uh, produces flower once in a 12 year it is found in the hilly area of kerala karnataka and tamil nadu now what is reproductive cycle the reproductive cycle is actually the placental cycle which occur in the female body okay so it is the activity uh, it combines the activity of ovaries as reduct and hormones and uh, it occurs in the reproductive phase of an female organism so when the placental cycle uh, takes place it is confirmed that the female organism is able to reproduce new young one when uh, the mating uh, will occur when there is any female uh, male gamete uh fuses with the female uh, gamete it will produce zygote and hence they will produce a new young one okay so in non primates mammal uh, like cow sheep rat and goat dogs it is called estrus cycle but in primates like monkey apes human which are the ancestor uh, monkey and apes ancestor of human this cycle is called menstrual cycle okay So now on the basis of the reproductive cycle, ma- mammals are are also were classified as uh, seasonal breeders, continuous breeders, and opportunistic breeders. So when uh, the mammal exhibit this cycle in the favorable season, like spring and autumn, so it is called the seasonal breeder because uh, the placental cycle go uh, occur only in spring and autumn so the organism is only able to reproduce um, in spring and autumn after that not in winter and summer but the continuous breeders are those mammals which are reproductively active throughout the year like cow and human so throughout the year the uh, organism is uh, reproductively active they can produce the young one throughout the year opportunistic breeders are those uh, which depend on the short changes uh, uh, like rainfall abundance of food temperature and suitable breeding site if these criteria were fulfilled 
the organism is uh, able to uh, go into its uh, reproductive cycle and able to reproduce thank you for watching our video please subscribe exam hai on youtube like our video and comment thank you